Well, with Veterans Day quickly approaching, Fort Sill started celebrating today with a ceremony honoring a highly decorated local veteran. From brand new basic combat trainees to high ranking officials who were there, many were at Vesey Hall to celebrate retired Lieutenant Colonel James L. Thompson. Zach Verdi attended that special ceremony this morning. Zach. Well, guys, of course, you hear stories of World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. But it's rare to see a veteran who served in all three, and Lawton is home to one very special veteran. I'm always on the lookout for the hats. When I saw the World War II Korea Vietnam hat, I immediately went to him, made a beeline straight to him. Something you don't see too often a veteran of three separate wars, but one of Lawton's own. Retired Lieutenant Colonel James L. Thompson did just that. For them to see that he served honorably for 23 years. So Sergeant First Class Ricardo Lobo, drill sergeant for the Alpha Battery 95th Battalion, wanted to make an impact right before Veterans Day. Hopefully these young trainees can see that they're, you know, there's something to be proud of. It's, it's, a, it's an honor to wear the uniform and serve your country. Thompson earned three bronze stars, two for valor, from Germany in World War II to Korea, where he also earned a battlefield commission for his service aiding ground forces, then on to Vietnam. A truly remarkable story of courage and bravery from our greatest generation, especially for new combat trainees and attendants like Eliza Makita, who've been at Fort Sill for less than a week. It made me feel courageous about the path that in front of me, that I will go uh, on my way with strength and try to. Uh, take uh, some of the stuff that I learned here and be able to apply in my training and my future. With his 98th birthday right around the corner, Lieutenant Colonel James L. Thompson continues to inspire the next generation. And for me, coming in a country such as America, learning the history behind it, I felt like more confident to start my training Tuesday at BCT. More than two decades of service, more than a few acts of valor, and the proper recognition for an American hero. And of course, this was an early celebration again, not just for Veteran Day, but also Thompson's birthday, 98th birthday, and that's on the 22nd of this month. Oh, that's awesome. Have early happy birthday to him, and it's wonderful to see him get the recognition and the tribute that he deserves. Zach, thanks so much for that story.